Lots of uncertainty out there. Choose your colour pen. Which one would you like? Choose your colour. Choose your colour. The scale of uncertainty. I think we'd agree. These are some of the big risks uh, that, that exist at the moment. You may have others that you would want uh, to, to add to that. Where would you be for 2017 and beyond? On red or on a green? I'll go red. Oh. Uh, and, and I'll oh. tell you that two things. One is I'll go in the 7 to 8 bucket in terms of the scale yep. of uncertainty. And I would add China to your mix in terms of how did they pivot for all of these issues and the role that China plays going forward. Across, you don't know how to cross, yeah. Can I just love, no, no expense spared by CNN, uh, marker pen and uh, white paper. Excellent, I think. <laughs> excellent. As far as the scale of uncertainty, I think we're around uh, here. Uh, but I'm, 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 and, and I'm an optimist. That's why it's crucial uh, that actually, uh, going forward, uh, we don't have a hard Brexit. I think 2017 will be a relatively uncertain uh, year, but I hope that over the last few days, uh, we've done our bit towards making it just a little bit less uncertain. So I'm going to go for somewhere round about there. There is clearly the case that most people are here, and I think I'm there too. No, undeniably I'm here because I think we've got huge uncertainties, which rely also be strong. Highly unpredictable. Highly unpredictable. Who, 12 months ago, who would have predicted this election cycle? Ooh, truth. Well, we need to be certain about the truth, and I think it's a very important matter. Very up here towards the 10 scale. Yeah. We are almost certain that things are not going to be doing as well as uh, they should be. Way out here. Donald Trump, good for the U.S. Yep. What you, you, my favorite way of saying it, what you gain on the swings in the U.S., you lose on the roundabouts internationally. Well, I, I actually think the world is way more over no here. More certain than that. Well, I mean, I think, you know, economic certainty actually is much clearer where we are economically. There's more stability. There might be more political anxiety. The one word that you don't have on there is technology. It's probably the biggest game changer uh, in the world today. And I'm going to put technology here. I think I'm pretty uncertain. No, I, I, I would not be so much uncertain. I think when we met in 2007, 2008, yes. we have much more uncertainties. Really? I think so, yes. Everybody's very uncertain at the moment, but you're no, not. No, 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 here, somewhere here. I mean, uh, now, how much of you going there is because President Putin and Donald Trump might get on with each other? Very much so. I would put it right here. I wouldn't well, exaggerate. Uh, that's fascinating. You haven't, I mean, some people are sort of think everything's so uncertain because they look at the short term. Long term political but uncertainties are not going to drive the economy. Short term, they can dominate the economy. I think it's uh, probably in the middle. Although there are a lot of uncertainties in Europe and also in the US, on balance, yep. I think uh, the uncertainty is not so great, but not so small. A perfect <laughs> central <laughs> yeah, banker's yeah, yeah. answer. Yeah, thank, thank you, you thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.